Hello and welcome to Everyday Linux User. This is the start of week three on Elementary OS and I've killed it already. It got to the point yesterday, uh, actually it was on Wednesday that I first noticed uh, problems. Um, I started my YouTube creators, I belong to the YouTube creators community uh, set up by YouTube and um, every week you have um, either a guest speaker or you have someone doing a hive chat and then you can chat with other YouTubers and things like that. And I noticed that uh, I was struggling to get my video working, I was struggling to get my audio working, my Bluetooth wasn't working, um, basically anything to do with audio and video was dead. Uh, on top of that, we already had the problems I was having with LibreOffice in the main elementary desktop that you're seeing here and uh, Bluetooth like I say was dead so I took the executive decision to reinstall elementary and it looks like everything's working okay so I'm going to show you that now and on this video I am going to try and break elementary using the things that I did in the past few weeks to see what causes it to die because it could be that elementary, whilst it's good for itself when you're just using it, um, as soon as you try and do something out of the ordinary, it might cause it to break. So we're going to try a few things to see if we can get it to break. Now when I say it's working, it's not 100% working, because I tried to record this video using OBS, and OBS wouldn't play ball, couldn't record the audio, etc. So, um, caveats. Elementary isn't perfect. Elementary is far from perfect. Um, but at this moment in time, all the main applications are working. And I'm using Voco Screen to record this video. For instance, if I open up LibreOffice, a video a couple of weeks ago, uh, or in the last week or so, uh, you know that when I close this window here, it crashes the desktop. But now, it doesn't do that. I'm not sure what you get these messages for either, uh, but let's close that and you can see it closed okay. Previously when I was closing the window, it was crashing the entire desktop. So I'll try it from the exit function as well. And you can see that works perfectly fine. So the elementary desktop is working fine at this moment in time. All the apps that I need to run are running okay. Uh, the I'm back to the plain Pantheon desktop with no customizations whatsoever. So this is the the only thing I've done is removed the applications that were with Elementary and added my own ones in because I didn't like the web browser. Uh, the GNOME web browser isn't very good. Uh, there was the mail client. Uh, if you watch my initial video on Elementary, you'll see that I replace a lot of the applications because the ones that come with Elementary aren't particularly very good and it's easy to install you just go into this app center here and you search for what you're looking for so for instance if I wanted to find open shot you can see the open shot video editors there so if whatever application you want you can use this app center for so to prove that things are working my Wi-Fi you can see I'm using Wi-Fi at this moment in time you can see Bluetooth is working and if I click here you see there's nearby devices so that's okay so we'll close that down um, if I go for printers you can see my printers set up so everything at this moment in time is working so the point of this video is to make it not work, but not just destroy the system, because that, that's quite easy to do. Just, you know, run a command and you destroy the whole thing. But that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose is a video to try and work out how far you can push it before it breaks. So for instance, up here, you've got this thing here where you can go between light and dark mode. So light mode, dark mode. And doing that, everything still works. I mean, you wouldn't expect that to do anything like that. Uh, so let's go into some settings, see if we can do something with the settings that causes it to break.
so wallpaper we can change the wallpaper that's not going to do any harm is it so what other things can you do in the appearance we can change things here from light and dark mode but there's nothing really here that's going to do too much let's try that and try that and see if that breaks anything No, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to. It could be that the settings have been changed and it's been fixed. It could be that an update has fixed the problems. And I've been lucky that once I've reinstalled, it's actually now working better. Um, you could do this, see if that causes a problem I mean this is something that the testers of elementary should be doing themselves but at the moment it all looks to be working perfectly fine So the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to install Pantheon Tweaks because that is something I did as part of my customization video. So let's try that, see if tweaking using Pantheon Tweaks causes things to fail. All right, so this is Pantheon Tweaks. Some of the things we can do, you can change the themes. Uh, and one of the things you can do is change the window control layout. So let's try that. So we're going to change that to windows like that. I'm going to close that down. We can close this down as well. Now, interestingly, when I turned my Bluetooth speaker on, it actually crashed photo screen so that's kind of interesting so let's try and pair this connecting and it connects okay so that's perfectly fine right so everything appears to be working so other things i did during the month um, i installed awesome but libreoffice was already broken at the point of starting awesome so the reason i installed awesome was because i was having problems with the pantheon desktop but the Pantheon desktop is now behaving. So I'm going to install Awesome, see if that causes any major issues. And all I have to do is open up this terminal here, sudo apt install awesome. So that's installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and I'm going to go into Awesome, um, show that that's working. And then I'm going to come back to this desktop and show that it's working. So you will see that I'm now in Awesome and I've had to start Simple Screen Recorder. Vocal Screen wouldn't work, um, but other than that, it looks like it's working OK. So I'm now going to go back to Pantheon and make sure that we can do Bluetooth. Um, LibreOffice still works. Everything still works. So I am back again in Vocal Screen within Pantheon and everything seems to be working. The Bluetooth is still there. Um, Wi-Fi is still there. And if we go into LibreOffice, and we exit, everything's still fine. Now the last thing I did, and the thing that probably killed it, uh, was last week when I installed the Budgie desktop. Now, if you're a normal computer user and you're just using your computer for web browsing and office stuff, then you're probably not gonna do this. You're probably just gonna leave it as the plain Pantheon desktop. The reason you probably installed this is because you like the look and feel of the Pantheon desktop. And the reason I went for Budgie was I was having so many problems with the Pantheon desktop that I figured using Budgie would make it work better. So let's see if using Budgie causes it to crash. And when I say crash, I mean things stop working, audio stops working, Bluetooth stops working, and all the things that you need stop working. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, so what I did there...
and this is the one I installed this one here so let's make the yeah so the one I installed was this Ubuntu budgie desktop minimal And we'll let that run and um, I'll come back to you once this is finished installing. So Budgie's now installed. So what we're going to do is going to close this down. At the moment, everything appears to still be working. What I'm going to do is log out, go into Budgie, do a few things in Budgie, set it up a little bit, uh, show that working. And then I'm, I'm going to come back to this desktop and show that this is still working. So here I am in the Budgie desktop. Everything appears to be working and the point of installing Budgie is because I did that during the month and I wanted to show that just by installing Budgie it shouldn't cause the elementary desktop to stop working, it shouldn't cause things like Bluetooth to start failing unless there's some sort of conflict. But you can see that uh, Budgie is working okay and if I go up into Bluetooth now, I can turn on Bluetooth. Connecting. And you can see that, and you can see that the Bluetooth was working fine. So everything is still working. Um, now I've reinstalled Budgie. Everything's still working. Elementary still working. The Pantheon desktop is still working. I'm going to prove that. I'm going to go into the Elementary Pantheon desktop, prove everything's still working. And if that's the case, we have a fully working desktop uh, with Pantheon, with Budgie, with Awesome, and. LibreOffice works and that means elementary at this moment in time is working and my problem with elementary is the words at this moment in time because one day it seems to be fine and the next day you, you've got issues again so let's go back into the Pantheon desktop so here we are back in the elementary Pantheon desktop and everything seems to be working okay so uh, if I go into LibreOffice and I exit out, the desktop doesn't crash. If I go into Bluetooth and I connect, connecting, it works fine, it doesn't crash. So what have we learned in this video? When I installed Elementary a couple of weeks ago, it worked fine, except we had a few problems. We had problems with the screenshot tool. We had problems with LibreOffice crashing when you exited it out. We had um, various other problems along the way. And it had if you check out some of my videos, you'll see the crash bang wallop stuff that was happening at the time. But at this moment in time, after a reinstall, it's working fine. Nothing is failing. So what I shown in this video that is nothing I've done since I installed was the cause of it failing. So for instance, I've added Pantheon tweaks, I've done some tweaks to the desktop, it still works. I installed the awesome window manager, everything still works. I installed the budgie desktop and the reason I installed the budgie desktop was because the Pantheon desktop was failing on something basic like running LibreOffice. And that at that point, a few days later, it caused the whole system to come to a standstill and die. But you can see now I've installed Budgie and everything's working still. So at this moment in time, if you're using elementary and you install elementary, it works. And the problem I have is that it's a little bit flaky. One day you'll be using elementary and it'll be working fine. The next day you'll be using elementary and suddenly it'll all stop working or things won't work. So where you use something like Fedora or Ubuntu, Endeavor, uh, Debian, Zorin, Mint. I can use a month on those and I can hammer them and they'll still work at the end of the month. And that's that's kudos to them because all those distributions, doesn't matter how much I hammer them, they still work. Yes, you might have the odd flaw here and there, but they still work. Elementary, one day it's great, the next day it's not. So that's my main issue with elementary, especially as this is for new users to Linux or people that want a, a desktop that just works and it works in a Mac fashion. It is a little bit flaky. 
so on a month on this, this is why i do these months on so you can see not just a standard review over a couple of days where i, I look at it and goes oh yeah it's all great i show you the entire month and if i find a problem i highlight it and i'll hammer it and i'll try it and i'll use it and i hope you enjoy these sort of videos now elementary hasn't proven to be that popular of a series but i'm going to continue because it's the right thing to do for anyone wanting to use elementary and that is the end of the video if you like it give a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time on everyday linux user